Jordan Daily Duppy. This is a Patreon request. We get straight to it. Man, that sounds me crazy, bro. Hit that thing in! <laughs> Yo, it's cocaine highs, marijuana lows. Cocaine highs, marijuana lows. Let's go. That's a, that's a smooth bar, because he's saying up first, downers, highs and low. That's a, that was a smooth bar. He came in, I like the aesthetic. I like the, just how he walked in. Now he doesn't look like the conventional rapper, but as we've learned multiple times on the channel that you can't really judge a book by a cover, especially with these UK niggas. It, you will be shocked. Let's see how Jordan's coming. Every time I'm close to fucking back in holes. How many times have I dropped home? For fuck's sake, just leave me alone. Institutionalized, I can't get used to home. Oh, talk that shit, cuz. Institutionalized, you can't get used to home. That's real nigga shit. I remember as a shorty, when in the, in the juvenile lockup, we all did these graphs, you know? Cause motherfuckers be in there two, three, five years, six years. Some niggas gonna be in there and then become adults and you go to adult prison. So we start looking at it. And I looked at like years of cognition. So I think it like starts at like five and a half, six. I spent more time in some kind of trouble. Didn't necessarily have to be there. Then I have been just walking around free. And by the time I turned 18, I started looking at numbers like that. And you do sort of become institutionalized because how can you call it home? Bro, for, I was locked up for what, two years of high school? I spent one year in Nigeria, you know what I'm saying? I really only did like a, maybe a year and a half in high school with everybody else, you know what I'm saying? So I got used to being incarcerated. That shit just felt normal to me. That's where I was spending most of my time. This shit nearly killed me, bro. See myself getting punched up on videos. Jordan, how could you be so silly, bro? Whole world trying to take me for a dick and bro. Talk. What you think I could have got that little silly smoke? Yeah. What you think I could have turned that little silly ghost? Go. I got the biggest pose. The whole city knows. Yeah. When it's on, bro, it's on the whole city rolls. Path you know the thing about this nigga, he has that, the way he flows and has that energy and that bop to where it really let that beat bang. He knows how to let the beat do what it do too. He drops like a, like this a real screen nigga, like he really does. Snakes that Versace rolls, fought that girl and a heart of gold. Over people's feelings you can't control. Came home banging bits off reality shows. I really got blown in the back of the road. Yeah. Pop star took me to the back of a throat. I shut down cities, my shot down to my home. Brother, I'm the king, someone bring me the throne. All these rappers are clowns, all these rappers are clones. Every street kid loves me, I'm the fucking goat. Bro, fuck on your throat. I gave away my money, but I've never. See, this is the thing about a Jordan. You're not going to be, it, it's not like all of his bars are going to be like the craziest blow over your mind thing, but he has a lot of conviction and he has a lot of animation to everything that you will enjoy it. I just want to know, what's this nigga backstory? Is he really from the, is that from the hood? Nigga, what is going on in the hood to the UK? The, from, I, actually, we did have a nigga shot to Trev White look just like this nigga, matter of fact, with tattoos. Do he got tattoos? Matter of fact, I got him. I believe him. No, I give away my money, bro. I've never said no. All these all night freaks. Thinking I've got weak. Come on, bro. That's in UK no shit. Weirdos. Call them freaks. Never in my life have I done my beef. I'm a street gem, bro. I keep it in the street. Mm -hmm. I show respect. There's no fear in me. Mm -hmm. I've been applying pressure, man. I'm going to talk that real shit. We show respect, but ain't no fear in me, bro. I show respect. There's no fear in me. I've been applying pressure, man. I'm going to sleep. The whole town feet your pure, so I'm not hold a freak. Pushing P, no, I'm pushing P. Oh! I'm a sign of P, no, I'm pushing P. Feet your pure, so I'm not hold a freak. Pushing P, no, I'm pushing P. You keep pushing me, and you're going to fucking see. I'm a sign 
a deal some days and give my mom some peace. I might sign a deal some days and give my mom some peace. She drove on missions and done shit that you won't believe. Three days in the station, she didn't fucking speak. Cause I'm the plan for God, mama, bro, my mom's a jig. Bro, my mom's a jig. Now, some people will say that he should refrain from using the word effing so much because, you know, it sort of shows like some people will take it as like you don't have a big vocabulary. But as somebody who uses profanities, I think there's a beauty to it. I think there's an art to it. I think that it, it's showing that, no, I have other words to use to describe this, but this is the word that I so choose because you know the brashness, the risque, the sexiness, it's just the vibe when you use one of those kind of words. So I do love how what he, he how he's applying it because you got to remember he's on his drunk monk shit. This nigga's drunk right now. You, you keep it in kayfabe, keep it a cannon. He's drunk right now. So... Of course you're gonna be talking like a talking like a drunk sailor, you know what I'm saying? Everyone got snacks. The judge giving man 20 years for chat. A friend in a flat said he can't come back wrong. It's nine point the twenty-five I'm mad than that. Those in the cold, that's the end of his plan. Girl I'm getting new man, his kids will get a new dad. I was waiting 20 years for a nap. That's a lot. That's some real nigga shit. A lot of us, we doing what we doing out the streets, you know, because you got a wife and kids, right? How many times you heard a nigga say he got a wife and kids? So you doing what you got to do in the streets because you got that little wife and kids. Whole time, nigga, when they catch you, your wife and kids about to become another nigga wife and kids. You just, just tricked it off. You just warmed up, gave a kid, gave a little a pride and joy. Hey, yes, boy, not so I feel this nigga for real, bro. This is a real nigga. I feel that, man. Sometimes in life, you know, even when you find your journey and you find your destination, you you get lose focus. Sometimes your motivation levels don't be as high. Sometimes they be really high. Sometimes you be you be enjoying all the fruits of your labor or you forget to go back to harvesting them. I like this nigga. Like, there's a level of just like every man to him. Like, he ride. And maybe it's because my homie reminds me a lot of this guy, but it's, it, 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 he does it. I, I can do this. He says it again. I can do this. I feel this nigga, man. It's weird, bro. It's weird. It's like we got doppelgangers. I'm a Dave doppelganger. Dave is a queso doppelganger. We the same nigga. You didn't know that. This is a Wayne doppelganger. I was, I'm joking, but it's like, bro, it's so crazy how similar people can be from any, bro, even what the vibe, the machine, my trigger. Uh, my nigga got loose on a nigga with a boot. That nigga had a broke leg, nigga, outside the club. Got busy with a nigga on my mama. With a boot on. And he got the boot because he jumped off a, 
a story and try to land on the couch. It's a big nigga. He drank his wild boy. Shout out to my nigga, right? <laughs> And what he just described there is something that's so real. As you become more and more successful, you're never going to escape from your past. So even as you go and achieve these great things and you go get this brand new car, you got to go to that prison. You got to go see your niggas. I done got a lot of YouTube checks that had to go straight to bonds, books, niggas needed foods, niggas need Lord. I done YouTube lawyer to check gone. Gone. Real shit. Feel that nigga, man. You do what you gotta do, nigga. You probably ain't even sad. You do what you that's what you gotta do. Planetary fuck the fame Told it everything's good Now brother just train Forty two little baby brother we paid Couple more years I'ma be at them gates Half a mil cash Hundred race Stressed out lately I've been putting on weight I'm running down the runway Or I'm running for a train It's me against the world daddy I ain't got no mates After Christmas with a family I'm fucking off mate They gon' see me disappear I got fucking David Blaine This is so weird to me. It's like watching my UK homie rap Bro this nigga There's something I tell people like bro You don't always gotta dress it up Sometimes you just I just wear my chain at the crib But nigga I'm just in sweats and a tee You don't gotta dress it up bro if what you saying is real, they'll feel it. I don't gotta get to, you know what I'm saying, put the, get the freight, put a suit on it. You don't gotta feel it. And obviously he is putting on a visual presentation, but the vi visual presentation is like a drunk nigga coming from a wedding. Maybe like a mob boss, something like that. You never know. Quiet squad must be in the morning. Shields in helmets, whole wing roaring. Give you one chance, get on the floor if you're walking. Told them go fuck yourself, brother, I'm brawling. Door cracks in the storm and I'm swinging going all in Too many punches to the floor I'm falling Holding my screens when I stamp in my drawing From an MB it was appalling Crap baby from the noise Fifteen years old fighting men in the forties From a rubber spy go and ask about Jordan Go and ask about Jordan Oh he got off Oh, what's the next Jordan check? We react that. Start a 5-5 check. Thumbs up button and subscribe, nigga. You know the drill.